We're making pom poms. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Tiffany Hansen. Thank you so much for joining me today. In this video, I'm going to show you how to make pom poms with both a pom pom maker and just your hand. <laughs> if at any point in this video you do like what you see, please push that thumbs up button. And if you haven't yet, subscribe to my channel and click the bell. That way you don't miss any of my videos. I try to release a brand new video every single Friday, covering a wide range of different types of crochet projects just to keep it interesting. And you're not going to want to miss out. I'm going to show you how to make a pom-pom with a pom-pom maker. If you don't own a pom-pom maker, I will include in the description section below a link on where I got mine. Uh, I will also include any other materials that you might need, which will include scissors, and that's it. The other technique that I'm going to show you will just be the use of your hand, yarn, which will really be whatever yarn you want to use, and a pair of scissors. So once you have everything that you need on hand to make your pom-pom, let's go ahead and dive right into making the actual pom-pom itself. To make a pom-pom with the pom-pom maker, you will open up the pom-pom maker. Seeing that it does have two sides, you're going to join two sides together, just like that. Grab the yarn that you want to use to make your pom-pom. And what I will do is I'll just focus on two. Take my yarn and start wrapping around the two. Now you can choose, I'm gonna come back around and I'm gonna wrap around my tail that I started with to secure it, and then I'm just gonna keep going. For me, I like to make a thin layer all the way around to begin. Some people will just stay in one spot until it fills up entirely and they'll just stay building and building in one spot before they move over. But I like to go evenly around building evenly. You will keep wrapping. If you look at the side here, so here's the curve, turn it this way. You're going to look at these feet. You will keep wrapping until you can't see the sides of the feet anymore. You'll still be able to see the top here, but you won't be able to see any of the color on the sides. So I'm going to speed up real quick to get there. Perfect, see, and now you cannot see the side colors at all anymore. The fuller you make this, the fuller your pom-pom will actually be. So I'm going to bring my yarn over to these feet here. I'm going to close this section. It should be a snug fit. And then I will bring that yarn over to the other two and I will keep wrapping. I don't stop. I just keep going. Now I will completely wrap this side until I cannot see that side green section anymore. There we go. Closing this side, perfect circle here. Take our scissors and I will cut this strip flush with the outer circle so that everything meshes well. Looking at our circle, you turn it to the side. See these two green pieces? Take your scissors and you'll insert your scissors in between that section and start cutting the yarn. Great, once you've made it all the way around one side, you will continue right on to the other side, making sure to just keep these secure. Perfect, once we've made it all the way around the entire circle, you'll set that down off to the side, grab some more yarn, and this will be the yarn that we use to secure the ball and attach the pom-pom to an actual item, such as a beanie or a blanket or a pillow or whatever you want to attach your pom-pom to. So taking your string, 
placing that string evenly right there in the center. So I'll make it even. So I'll hold it right here so that way you can see. So there's the strip and I will pull and I'll pull really tight. And what that did is it sucked the yarn in between these two sections. I'm pulling all of these little cut strips together and I'm going to make a knot. Then I will come around to the other side and I'll make another knot real tight. Sticking with the same side, I'll make a third knot just for extra added security. Pulling extra tight. And I think we're ready, guys keeping those strips out, knowing that these are the strips that I'm going to use to tie this pom-pom to something or attach it to something. Taking these two feet, I will lift them up. Taking these two feet, I will lift those up. Taking this side, taking this side, separate, put those back together, set the pom-pom maker off to the side Give this a little tassel, perfect, and there is our pom-pom. So again, keeping these two aside, I'm going to trim up any extra little strings that are way longer than the rest, just trying to even it out. Perfect, now this is not gonna be absolutely perfect. Your pom-pom will still have an unperfect circular or oval shape, and that is perfectly fine. If you try to make all of these little strips perfect, you're going to end up with a small nub. <laughs> You'll end up cutting everything way too short. So don't go for perfection with your pom-pom, just go for everything being roughly the same size. And now that pom-pom is done. Let's go ahead and move on to our second way to make a pom-pom. The second way that I'm gonna show you how to make a pom-pom is just with yarn, scissors, and your hand. That's it, that's all you're going to need. So taking your yarn and taking three fingers to give yourself the width of the pom-pom. So if you want your pom-pom to be really wide, I'd go four fingers. If you want your pom-pom to be smaller, I'd go two fingers, but your pom-pom width will be whatever number of fingers that you're going to use. And you can always separate your fingers a little bit to help aid in the width of that pom-pom. All right, so grabbing some yarn and I'm going to go ahead and separate my fingers just slightly. I don't want to pull, I don't want to like pull this yarn and pull my fingers together. I want my fingers to be loose. I want the yarn to be loose. Everything is fluid. Don't make this too tight. It'll be great. What you're going for right now is you're trying to make your pom-pom as full as you want it to be. If I were to stop right now and secure my pom-pom, the yarn would just flop. I wanna make this a very full pom-pom. So I'm just gonna keep wrapping over and over until I look at the side and see how it's starting to build up. That's telling me how thick my pom-pom is going to be. Okay, once you feel that your pom-pom is at a good fullness, we will take our scissors and see how I, I'm going to cut my string right in line with the bottom of how I was wrapping around my fingers. I'm going to take this string and I'm gonna put it through my fingers, right in between there. Perfect, and this I'm gonna make sure is long enough for me to tie on to, tie the pom-pom onto something. So I'll cut about right there. Okay, grab it tight, pinching it. So I can release my fingers. 
There we go. You want this strip to be roughly in the middle, as close to the middle as you can get it. And I'm going to take these two strings and I'm going to tie a knot in them, making it real tight. And then I'm gonna tie a second knot, make it real tight. I like three knots. They make me feel better. <laughs> so I made three knots. Now I'm gonna take my scissors and I'm gonna come through the loop part of the top and start cutting. Making sure I've cut through every loop, trying to stay as centered as possible. There we go, got it. Okay, once all those are cut through, flip over to the other side, making sure these extra long pieces stay out of the way because those were the extra long pieces that we're going to use to attach the pom-pom to something. Coming through, making sure you're even and start cutting. There we go. Awesome, I'm gonna double check to make sure I've got all the loops. Perfect. And then you are left with a pom-pom. Double checking, oh, I missed some loopies. They got away from me. There we go. Shake it out, perfect. Now we're at the part where we will kind of mold it. So I'm gonna look at my pom-pom and I'm going to say, oh, these pieces are a little shaggy and I'm just gonna start forming my pom-pom with my scissors. Go careful not to cut those two strings. Again, remember that this pom-pom is not going to be perfectly circular. This pom-pom will have a little more roughness to it, which some people really love. It's more of a wild pom-pom. Once you think your pom-pom is as close to perfect as you want to be, understanding that it's not going to be completely perfect, but knowing that it still looks fantastic in its own way, then it is now ready to attach to a beanie or a blanket or a pillow or a stuffed animal or whatever you would like to attach your pom-pom to. And that is how you make a pom-pom just by using your hand. I hope you had a lot of fun making these pom-poms. It is so cool how many different sizes that you can make. I mean, look at this one. This is so tiny and yet so adorable. I really hope you had a lot of fun learning how to do the pom-pom. For other basics and fun little tidbits on what you can do to crochet and add to your crochet projects, check out my playlist right here with a lot of different ideas that I think you'll really enjoy. Also check out this video right here, which is just a recommended video for you to watch. Thank you so much for spending time with me today. I always love crocheting with you. I hope you have an amazing day and I will see you with my next video. Bye guys.